Hello, everyone. And in this demonstration, I'm going to be showing you how to use the AdaScript API audit log query object to track changes made to your gateway or Atom runtime by a user on the platform. Uh, so the URL you're going to kill is the api.booby.com slash api slash rest slash v1 slash your account ID audit log query. To get your account ID, we're going to have to go onto the actual platform itself. We can get it from the URL while on your account. Okay. We'll also need the proper authorization to access the Atmosphere API. Uh, the username is going to be booby underscore token dot, and then it's going to be the email address you use to sign in to your Atmosphere account. For the actual password, we're going to have to navigate to settings, user information, and then Atmosphere API token. I have too many tokens, so I have to delete one to make it. Okay, this one demo. Generate the token. Copy it to our clipboard in post. Open back up post bid. Post it here. This should allow the call to authorize within the uh, should authorize the API. For the header, we're going to be using content type application JSON just because I think it's easier to read. Uh, actually build the request body. Uh, and it's worth noting that you don't have to use Postman to make this call out. You could use the HTTP client connector within Booby and just uh, structure the request the same way. And you can also use the uh, added sphere API connector itself to make the query call. But if this scenario, I'm just using Postman. Uh, this is the like base structure of what it's going to look like. We just need to add query parameters. Uh, in this case, let's navigate back to the integration into our management. I'm going to make a change to the shared web server on my desktop, Adam. I'll change the authentication type to basic. And the API type to intermediate, and I will save it. Start the plugin. Now you might run into a scenario where someone made a change onto a runtime or to a gateway, any configuration change, but you don't know who. Uh, the auto log is a great way because from within the platform, it always tracks that. So you'll be able to find the user's uh, username and email to see who exactly did that. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, so the first thing we're going to be grabbing is the container ID, which is the Atom ID, or the actual uh, runtime we want, or gateway we want to actually check it for. So this is what that's going to look like. The argument is going to be the container ID, which is another word for Atom ID or gateway ID. The operator is going to be equal. It's going to be equal to the container ID. To get that, we can go back to the platform, go to add up information, and just copy that, paste it here. Now, right now, this would return all of the changes ever made to the uh, to that specific atom, my desktop atom. Uh, we don't want that. We just want the ones from today. So we can actually add a, another argument to our request body. And this one's going to be the date. Now, the date needs to be in this format here, or else it won't work. You'll have the start date, comma, end date, followed by the operator. It's going to be between, and the property is going to be date. So, with this, we should be able to query the changes made today onto my uh, desktop, Adam. So, we'll send this request. 
We got a response back. There was two things, two changes done, it looks like. I made one earlier for a different take. But you'll have the container ID, what account it was on, the user who did it, and what was actually done. So in this case, an update was made to the shared web server con uh, configuration. And then it'll give you the actual details of the uh, configuration here. So you'll be able to uh, see here what, what, what change was made and then compare it to what you expected it to be. And then that would be the uh, culprit if you made the change. Anyway, that was it for this one. Uh, you can do a lot of things with the audit log query, such as look at users and such, but that's a topic for another time. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.